Hello everyone! <laughs> this video will be a bit different uh, than uh, all my previous videos, as uh, this is the chess time machine. Great Scott. Here in this game we have an epic moment in chess history. Uh, Giri offered a draw, uh, King to f6. <laughs> uh, we have a historic moment, Giri offered a draw. I'm waiting for a to do his video on, uh, on, on Giri's game today against... Um, uh, who, who, was it against Rajabov chat? It was against Rajabov today, right? I, I think it was. Um, but yeah, this is that's good. That's a good one. Sorry, I need to watch it one more time. Great Scott. Here in this game, we have an epic moment in chess history. Uh, Giri offered the draw. Uh, king to f6, uh, rook to d1, king back to e6. Giri, uh, Giri basically offers a threefold repetition. Wesley opens with d4, and now we... <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Uh, sorry about that. Sorry about that. He's gonna, uh, you know, just fix that. Uh, and he's not sorry about it either. That almost never happens. No, that never happens. I've never seen that. Now let's enjoy this game. Or don't. Uh, we have Rook to G6 preparing ideas like... Uh, wait, wait, whose game is this? Oh, is this Karis Petrosian? Because this position actually reminds me a lot of a game that I played against uh, Alexander Shabalov in the U.S. Chess Championship in 2019, I believe it was. So let, let me let me let me check that quickly. Let me find that game. Um, uh, let's see. Let me let me find that game to see if it's really that similar or if I'm insane. Let me see. Um, U.S. Championship. Okay, one second. Where is it? Uh. Wait, it was in 2016. Oh my God, so long ago. Holy. It was the US Championship 2016. So let me just pop it up very quickly, see if it's actually the same or if I'm insane. It's, let's see. Okay, the moment of truth. Let's see. Can't believe this was 2016. Feels like it was actually like one year ago or two years ago. Let's see. How similar is this actually? Let's keep going. La di da di da. La 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 la. La 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 la. Okay. So, okay. Okay, so let me think. So this, we reached this position. Is this actually similar or not? Let's see. It's different, but it is, it is kind of similar, actually. When you, I mean, the difference is there are less pieces, but it is pretty similar, right? Same pawns, kind of the knights are weird, but same pawns here, same pawns in the center. It's actually a little bit, it's kind of similar. It's not super similar, but the, pawn, the pawns are on similar kind of squares. Um, anyway, okay, let's keep watching. Um, uh, like uh, a small rook lift uh, coming to g7. Uh, so Carlson sacrificed. Wait, I'm so, wait. What did I just see? Did that rook get smaller? Like uh, a small rook lift uh, coming to g7. <laughs> uh, so Carlson sacrificed uh, another pawn. Okay, he blundered the first one, but he sacrificed the second one. And now queen to e1 check. Not queen to Ivanchuk. Queen to e1 check. Notice that wait, there what? is no wait 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 what did he just say wait a second sorry that I'm skipping all over the place sacrificed uh, another pawn okay he blundered the first one but he sacrificed the second one and now queen to e1 check not queen to Ivanchuk queen to e1 check notice that there is no good way to prevent the pawn from queening but there is one good way if the if the knight moves for example knight to g7 or whatever then look Luke is ready to use the fork knight to f6 check will of course win the game <laughs> let's just get this over with. Uh, all right, that's uh, very nice. So feel free to pause the video here, but not for too long and figure out why did he play knight to c5, uh, allowing knight captures queen on d4. Uh, I'm just kidding, don't do it, <laughs> as uh, knight to c5 was actually a terrible blunder. So yeah, uh, that's uh, the game. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I did some, uh, since I do have a better graphics card now, I try to improve the uh, the quality of my camera, so I don't know if it's uh, any any better, but if it is, you know, do uh, do comment so so I would know. Now, what kind of a hat is it? I have no idea. Oh my Could gosh! Be some traditional oh my gosh! Wear. That's so bad. Uh, but we that's like so bad. Oh my gosh! Uh, yeah, yeah. Whichever the case, it does look like it gives plus fifteen to agility. He's a top level uh, Smash Bros player. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see if Michael can smash this bro. He was the highest rated player in the world with a rating over 29,000. What? 9,000? There's no way that can be right. 2,900. Here you can uh, end the game immediately, basically. But this was 1874. And in those days, uh, it wasn't just about, be you know, beating your opponent. You also had to be cool uh, while while you did it.
But Magnus also had uh, a, a whoa, that's that's uh, not what I wanted to show. The c6 pawn is under attack, and there is no uh, there is no good reply here. You cannot defend it. Your bishop is just lame there on g7. It's you know it's supposed to be a dragon, and here it's not even a lizard. And uh, this is the uh, well moment where the magic happens. <laughs> Capture, 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 captures, 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 and captures, 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 and captures, 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 and capture, 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 that's not a capture, captures, 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 and <laughs> While you ponder on that, I will have a nice sip of my water. Now, yes, I know your your friends at the bar in the library are incredibly impressed, but they should be. Uh, also, here we have a nice man on a horse, uh, because, I mean, why not? Uh, I'm now going to announce the result of the second match between Hikaru and Magnus, so close your ears if you don't want to hear it. Uh, he probably won the second match. She decided to go bishop to e7 uh, to allow me this beautiful uh, structure so I can use this as a thumbnail. It's like they're playing these crazy games just, just so I would show them on the channel. So feel free to pause the video here if you, you know, enjoy, you know, pausing videos. So there, I gave you some time to consider, will you pause? <laughs> Uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations, as it's really not uh, not an easy move to find. Uh, and for those of you who were, who were able to do it, uh, congratulations. Um, no, I totally messed it up. If any of you saw King to H1, it's uh, then, then just, you know, hats off to you. Uh, you are a, a true, true, you know, gentleman uh, of the game. I did have some ideas of what to play if he captures the Rook, but mostly my plan was to, to resign the game. I, I'd expect a bigger trophy for the winner of the Grand Chester Finals. You, 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 know, you fight uh, for an entire year to be here, and now you win it, and it looks like a, well, it looks like a vase. But <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, that is. Oh wow! Oh wow! And you guys thought I was the one with all my trophy talk yesterday when I was watching the simple video. This is oh, okay. I gotta watch it one more time. Sorry, that's just really, really good. But mostly my plan was to, to resign the game. I, I, I'd expect a bigger trophy for the winner of the Grand Chester Finals. You, you, know, you fight uh, for an entire year to be here and now you win it and it looks like a, well, it looks like a vase. But then again, okay, you do have a, a, a $150,000 uh, cash prize for winning first place. So I guess it's not uh, all about the trophy. And uh, you can see that his starting number is 69. Nice. Which is just insane. Carlsen did play Rook captures on b7 with check. Uh, and in this position, Ernesto Inarkiev totally ignored this check. And he played knight to e3. And he checked Magnus Carlsen while he himself was in check. If the knight was here instead of here, then it'd be good. Because then you'd have like uh, uh, Rook to c1 checkmate. Since the knight from here would be covering the f2 square. Uh, but you don't. So that's... that's uh, uh, too bad for Magnus and uh, Hikaru <laughs> and uh, Nakamura drew their games, so uh, the, the match was. Wait, be what? Wait, wait, wait! I, I didn't hear that. Let me wait. What was that? Let me go back. What was that? So that's uh, uh, too bad for Magnus and uh, Hikaru and uh, Nakamura drew their games, so uh, the, the match was a draw. Uh, it would be, you know, pretty much a crime against chess to go for a draw here. I, I don't think anyone is crazy enough to to challenge the engines. Uh, not yet, at least. We have to wait for that chosen one to, to you know, uh, help us fight the machines. He is the one. You, know, you, can, you can't out Tal Tal. I'm pretty sure everyone enjoys chess. Uh, he who says he doesn't uh, either doesn't know the rules or, or he's lying for some reason. Uh, so this is, this is one of... Wait, he who... He who doesn't, wait, he who doesn't like chess doesn't know the rules or they're lying. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um, somehow that logic doesn't seem quite right, but anyway, okay. The weirder pawns in, in any line that you'll see. <laughs> it was in this position that Levan Arnon and Shahri Mamidar re, uh, <laughs> not resigned, but drew their game. And uh, this comes with a threat of queen to g6 checkmate and also queen to h7 checkmate. 
And how do you stop this? Well, uh, you don't. I did try to find a photo <laughs> of the two of them playing so you in resign, this tournament. Basically. Uh, I wasn't successful, but after searching some dark corners of the internet, I was able to find an even better photo. So here it is. Uh, it's not uh, a very high quality photo, but still, it's uh, <laughs> you know you definitely want to have this photo. I will put a link. This. You definitely want to have this photo. <laughs> below so you can you know use it for whatever you want maybe you want to print it and put it uh, you know on your fridge or something this will result in at least a small nervous breakdown but <laughs> you know so yeah that's it for this video i do hope you enjoyed it and as usual you can check two of my previous videos here and uh, that's it thank you for watching and i'll see you soon oh and meadow says hi wait did he say mellow did he say mellow chat or wait did he say mellow Oh, and Meadow says hi. Oh, Meadow. Okay, because, like, I wasn't sure because, um, because Yasuo has a dog called Mellow. And so, or, yeah, I think it's a dog called Mellow. And so I wasn't sure if he literally just took it from a Gadmator. Um, okay, Meadow, though. Okay, Meadow, Meadow. Nice, nice, cool. Cute dog.